2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa is the official video game for the 2010 FIFA World Cup, published by EA Sports. The game was announced on the 26th of January 2010 during a GameSpot interview with Simon Humber, one of the producers of the game, and released April 27, 2010 in North America. 199 of the 204 teams that took part in the 2010 FIFA World Cup qualification are included in the game. British commentary Clive Tildesley and Andy Townsend are provided again which previously is UEFA Euro 2008. A playable demo was released for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on 8 April 2010. It includes Italy and Spain as the playable teams, and features the new two-button control method intended to make the game accessible to players who are new to the FIFA series, and the ability to upload video replays to EA Football World. Gameplay Players choose a team from the 199 nations available and compete against the computer or against other players through online gaming services PlayStation Network or Xbox Live. All 10 official World Cup stadiums are available for play. EA has announced that there will be gameplay improvements over FIFA 10, such as a higher rate of player fatigue for matches at higher altitudes, with an advantage to a home team who plays at a higher altitude against an away team who does not. EA has also announced that players can get injured outside of international matches. EA has also announced that the Captain Your Country mode will return, and that FIFA 10 owners can import their virtual pro for this purpose, and then earn CYC accomplishments and attribute boosts. The game's penalty kicks have been changed in order for their outcome to better reflect the player's own composure, and the game's online multiplayer lobby system has been limited to unranked head-to-head -head matches. As in 2006 FIFA World Cup a scenario mode is included with 55 playable scenarios from past World Cup matches. In addition, scenarios from the 2010 World Cup are playable with an online update. The Wii version of the game features more stylized graphics, and utilizes a nuanced physics system to allow for more casual, arcade-style gameplay. This version supports multiple control schemes, including the classic controller. Exclusively in this version, players are required to use quick-time events to save free kicks or penalty shots, or to win possession of the ball after it is punted or corner kicked. It is also possible for multiple players to take control of one team in that version. Topic: <laughs> Teams and venues. The included teams were confirmed by Electronic Arts on the 17th of February 2010. The game contains 199 of the 204 national teams that took part in the 2010 FIFA World Cup qualification process. Electronic Arts stated that they have included every team that FIFA have permitted them to use, with some others not being allowed for various reasons. The five teams that were in the draw for World Cup qualifying but are not included in the game are African teams Central African Republic, Eritrea, and Sao Tome and Principe, and Asian teams Bhutan and Guam. All five withdrew from the qualifying stage before it began. Additionally, the game does not feature Brunei, Laos, Papua New Guinea, and the Philippines who did not participate in World Cup qualifying. The game includes all 10 venues used at the 2010 FIFA World Cup, as well as stadiums from each qualifying region and a range of generic stadiums. Topic. Soundtrack The 2010 FIFA World Cup soundtrack comprises 28 tracks by artists from 21 countries. According to Electronic Arts it is intended to be a soundtrack that "...celebrates the cultural vibrancy of the first FIFA World Cup to be held in Africa." The headline track is, "...Waven Flag Coca-Cola Celebration Mix," by Kanon. Reception The game was met with positive to mixed reception. 
Game Rankings and Metacritic gave it a score of 83.43% and 83 out of 100 for the Xbox 360 version, 82.82% and 82 out of 100 for the PlayStation 3 version, 71.50% and 69 out of 100 for the PSP version, 69% and 70 out of 100 for the Wii version, and 62.50% for the iOS version. Topic. Sales As of May 2010, the game has sold nearly 2 million units worldwide. 